Having a look at what kind of igneous rocks we have, we were using this table in my slideshow and on the top we have the extrusive of volcanic and below the intrusive and plutonic rocks. And this is how I arranged my samples over here. So on the top we have the extrusive or volcanic rocks and below we have the plutonic or intrusive rocks. Now they are also arranged according to how we have it in my table. Felsic on the left, intermediate in the middle and mafic on the right. So that's how we're going to have these different types of rocks that have the extrusive and the intrusive version for basically the same or very similar chemical composition. And if I want to move from left to right, so speaking about felsic first, we have the granite, the really beautiful colorful rock with huge minerals, crystals that are visible, and a little bit similar perhaps the color here, quite light, pinkish, whitish, really light, but not really visible minerals for the rhyolite. Then we have two ver uh, types of, of rock here that are more intermediate and not very well known or not that popular, not that often occurring, and these are the death sign and the granodiorite. We see that perhaps it's a little bit more darker color. And moving on to the right, here we have the andesite and the diorite as its intrusive version. The andesite is uh, very often occurring and it's more like grayish, dark grayish color. And also the diorite is something that we don't often find in nature much more. We would find things like andesite or basalt. So this is also including some of these uh, crystalline minerals that are visible by eyesight. And if we move even more to the right, we will end up with the mafic rocks. And the, perhaps the most well-known or most frequently occurring is the basalt. It usually would be very dark gray or even black. Often it, we can say that it's darker than the andesite. So the basalt is something that really looks like blackish. And its intrusive version for this chemical composition is the gabbro, which often would look like black and whitish with really large minerals. Of course, it has different versions. So depending on where we find the exact sample, it can look different. And finally, we can move to the ultramafic rocks. And here we have the peridotite, which is the intrusive version for this most mafic type of rock. And here there is a gap because I didn't have a sample for the cometeite. The cometeite would be actually quite interesting because it should be extrusive. We don't really find it on the surface. We only have the very old and rare samples available. And I don't have one of those here at this moment. 